Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live at the 2010 Detroit Jazz Festival here in Detroit, Michigan. When you think of Take Six, you think of one of the world's greatest living a cappella groups of their generation. In fact, their music is so special that they sing and praise the word of God as well as mix it with contemporary jazz, R&B, soul, as well as traditional gospel. But well, tonight here at the Jazz Festival, you're going to witness Take Six performing with jazz pianist Mo Grew Miller. Mo Grew Miller is this year's 2010 artist in residence for the Detroit Jazz Festival. Tribute to Miles Davis. Tonight was really, really special. You guys had done this material at Jazz at Lincoln Center a year ago with Mulgrew Miller. How did that come about? You know what? That's a great question. I'm not exactly sure how it came about, but I know Mulgrew wanted to do it with us. We had a couple of days of rehearsal, and we said, man, this is really special. So we did it there. It went over well, and then when we were asked to do the, the D Detroit Jazz Festival, he was, he was like, man, we got to do some of those songs. We said, absolutely. You know, the art of vocalese is pretty much a lost art now in jazz music because you had the, the architects of it, Ella, you had Dinah, you had just a whole plethora of artists, the four freshmen, what has happened to the art of vocalese and what is it that Take Six is doing to keep the art of vocalese out there? Well, vocalese in and of itself is, is something that um, James Moody and, and John Hendricks really pioneered. John Hendricks is still with us. Um, so is James Moody. Yeah, absolutely. We've, we've worked with both of them fairly recently. Um, Take Six, I mean, we just try to be in, in many different genres of music and different sexed with, with, within those genres and vocalese is something that like you said it's, it's, it's kind of a lost art um, but it's something that you know when we feel we can try to put our stamp on it we do man just to give younger people who may not have heard of it before um, an idea of what it is uh -huh. Look at this smile on my face. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. 
Now, the component of Take Six started off at college, and you guys are a gospel a cappella group. How have you been able to successfully fuse both R&B, soul, jazz, and gospel and reach out to millions with God's word? It's simple for us, man. It's what's inside of us. Um, we're not trying to do anything that um, is an act or something that uh, we say, well, let's try this this time. It's, man, it's coming from our heart. Um, as a group, individually and collectively, we believe in the Lord. We believe in his power. We believe in uh, his grace. And so that's what we sing about. Now, the, the packaging is also c coming from uh, inside of us. You know, the different genres of music, the jazz, the R&B and all that. So we just put every bit of our arranging uh, acumen into it uh, along with the lyrical content. You growing up in a very, very strong religious environment, who are some of your musical influences and what kind of was the crux that make you start Take Six? Because Take Six wasn't really the group. You started your own group and it was, you were in school and you accidentally heard some vocalists that ended up becoming Take Six. Well, I mean, for me growing up, I listened to a lot of different things. My family was very well-rounded uh, as far as music was concerned. We listened to a lot of traditional gospel as well as a lot of contemporary gospel at the time, the Hawkins family. Um, Andre Crouch, then the Winans and Commissioned, who came out around the same time that we did. Um, the Breath of Life Quartet at Oakwood College, you know, is all of those kind of groups, as well as the Singers Unlimited, the High Lows. And so a lot of stuff goes into what it is that I grew up listening to and tried to bring to the group. <laughs> Most groups stay together, but you guys have really kept, like I said, Christ as your center, and you guys have really kind of done something that most groups don't do. You guys pray at the beginning, and you have devotionals before you go on stage. Tell me about that. Again, it comes from within. Um, we want to live what it is we say we are, you know? And we're a family. We love each other, and to do that, we really have to be centered in Christ, be centered in the Word, be centered in the fact that um, you love your brother, you know, even before you love yourself. And I think that's how the longevity has happened in this group. We've been together professionally for 23 years, but I started this group 30 years ago. That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the 2010 Detroit International Jazz Festival here at Campus Marshes here in Detroit, Michigan. I'd like to personally thank Mo Gru Miller as well as the talents and efforts of Take Six for their time and their hospitality. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Remember, until next time, remember if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Peace.